Uniform distributions. So some things to know about uniform distributions. The first is that data is even evenly distributed. And that means that your PDF curve is going to be a horizontal line. So if you have on the axis uh, that's going to, here's your distribution because continuous curves uh, or continuous distributions are going to be represented by density function, density curves. And our PDF in this case is going to be the horizontal line. And the PDF curve goes from the minimum to the maximum value, which will usually be stated in the problem. And so if you look, if you draw uh, the shape under the curve, the PDF, the graph. the graph is a rectangle whose total area is one area. Is one. Is one. Is one. Is mm -hmm. one. Yeah, which means that you've got a graph here of a rectangle under the PDF curve, and then the total area, the total shaded area under there is one because the um, total probability is 100%. Inside this area is everything that can happen. And so remembering that to find the area of a rectangle, what do you do, Edie? You take base, the base? base times, what's that? Height. height. So you're gonna take your base times your height. So the height of your rectangle is on, which is actually, um, the function of the uh, density curve. Okay, so the total area, remember the total area in here is one. <laughs> so in this problem, supposing that the length of songs on Angie's iPod are uniformly distributed between two and seven minutes, I'm just gonna stop there and draw what I know right now if the length of songs, the key word here, uniformly distributed. So that means that I'm going to have on the x-axis, um, and my density function is going to be a horizontal line. And that density function is going to go from the max to the min. And in this case, the, ma uh, the minimum, they said, was 2 minutes, and the maximum length of the song was seven minutes and anything in between has the same chance of happening and so I've got my rectangle and before any other question I know that I can get the height of this rectangle just by knowing that the total area is like we said earlier that total area is one and so if the area of a rectangle is base times height I've now got my area is one and my base there's my base is the difference between the max and the min. So my base is going to be 5, 7 minus 2. And so I now know my base is 5, and I can solve this equation for h. So h must be 1 fifth. Now that I have my height, I can go ahead and solve the rest of the problem. Okay, so now let's look at the second part of the question. What is the probability that a song that is randomly selected is less than three minutes? So now we're gonna focus on that. So on my x-axis, I'm going to identify where three minutes is. Three minutes would be about there. And less than three minutes is everything to the left of that. And so the area I'm going to be shading, the area that I'm looking for, is that little rectangle there. And again, the area of a rectangle is just base times height. And the area is the, pro so the probability that my data, I should have labeled that curve, x is less than three minutes, is just going to be the base. And in this case, the base is just one, right? Three minus two. It's just going to be one. And my height is one fifth that I found earlier. So the probability that your song length is less than three minutes is going to be one-fifth. So remember, in any uniform distribution, the first thing you need to do is find that height, 
knowing that the total area of the rectangle is 1. So the whole rectangle has an area of 1. And then you find your actual range of values that you're looking for and calculate the area that corresponds to that. Good luck.